Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 9.5 RC or release candidate is available now to developers and public beta testers. This should be the last version that comes out before the public release, which we expect next week. We'll talk more about that in a moment, but as you can see, this was not a huge install, 198 megabytes. That's on my Apple watch ultra. I was on the previous beta as well. So these are fairly small updates compared to the iOS versions. Now, along with this, Apple also released iOS 16.5 RC along with iPadOS 16.5 RC and all of the other RCs, as well as some older ones with iOS 15.7.6 as well. Now this new beta actually has a few new features in it. First, let's take a look at the build number. So depending on how you have this laid out, whether it's a list or not, go to settings, then go to general, then about. And as you can see, the build number is 20T562. This particular update brings a couple changes, like I mentioned. The first one has to do with if you're a beta tester. Now, if you're a beta tester, the update changes in that it's sort of like the iOS updates as well. So if you go to your watch, go to general, then software update, if you're enrolled as a beta tester or a developer, you'll actually have an option here. It's tied to your Apple ID and you can turn it on or off. So you'll see it here down at the bottom. I have it blurred out, but you can enable this or disable it, turn it off, whatever you'd like to do, stay on the beta program and more. So that's something that's new with this update. And if you're wondering if you're a beta tester, if you should disable that, well, if you don't want to get any updates after this one releases, I would wait until the public release, then go ahead and turn it off if you don't want to receive it anymore. There's no more profiles though. Now, as far as what's new, Apple actually announced a new Apple watch pride edition, which celebrates the LGBTQ plus community. And you can see that here to go along with that. They introduced a new wallpaper on the iPhone as well as the Apple watch. So if we go over to our Apple watch, go to our face gallery, you can see it here, pride celebration, tap on this here and you can see the different backgrounds. So you have the option to turn it on or off having a white or black background, and then you can adjust the style here as well, depending on what you prefer. This seems a little bit busy. So one of these cleaner styles seems a little bit nicer, but you have the option to change this around with different complications and more. So whatever your preference is, of course you can change that out. Also on the iPhone, they've added one with a nice transition. So if we go here, you'll see this is the new one here. And if we go in and out of the notifications, there's a nice animation. Hopefully this hints at a change with iOS 17, where we can have more dynamic wallpapers as well. So hopefully we have something like that. Now in this update, Apple actually says that there's new bug fixes, but they don't say what they are. So you'll see, it says new features, improvements, and bug fixes. And then they introduce the new pride celebration watch face. So what they've fixed specifically, they haven't gone into details. Unfortunately, we do expect a security update as well to go along with this, but right now they haven't updated it as we're waiting for the final release to the public. That's when they typically go in and tell us what actually is in this update. As far as the release notes, if we go to our feedback app here, you'll see if we go back, you'll see watchOS 9.5 RC, and it says there are no new release notes for this software update. It's a pretty sparse update and not a whole lot going on as far as that goes. They're probably saving it for watchOS 10, as that's said to be a full redesign with some major changes. So that's something I think that we'll have a lot of different features in, but right now there's just not a whole lot. So it's fairly stable, not much to talk about that way. And as far as the overall performance, I haven't noticed any differences whatsoever, whether that's scrolling through things such as apps, going into apps, load times or anything else. Battery life has been pretty solid for me. I haven't had any issues there. You'll see I'm at 86%. I took this off the charger this morning. So we're almost 5 PM Eastern time. I took it off around 9 AM or 10 AM this morning. So it's doing pretty well. It's staying fairly high in battery life and it seems to last without an issue. For those wondering about my battery health, let's go back and take a look. I haven't looked at this since the last video. So let's see what it is. We'll go to battery, scroll down battery health. And you'll see I'm currently at, well, all, all the way at the bottom, I'm at 100%. So I put this on the charger every night. I don't really touch it at all and just pick it up in the morning and use it. Now, as far as when this should release to the public, well, we're pretty sure it's next week because Apple actually says that those new watch faces are coming next week. So if we go back over to the website with the announcement here, go to the bottom, you'll see here, 
a couple down, we have the new Pride Celebration watch face and iPhone wallpaper will be available next week and requires watchOS 9.5 and iOS 16.5. That means most likely on Monday. Typically, Apple releases the public releases on Monday. It could be later in the week, but that's usually what they do. It's possible we could have a release candidate too, but I think that's unlikely at this point. Then usually the day after or so, we'll see the next beta, 9.6 beta 1, and then we'll have that beta along with watchOS 10 betas usually on June 5th at WWDC when they introduce watchOS 10 and iOS 17. So we can look forward to that. I don't think we're going to see many changes with watchOS until that update is released with watchOS 10. But WWDC should be pretty big for the Apple Watch this year if they are going to have those updates. Now for those of you wondering which watch face I'm using, Using. I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'll just share it here quickly. You'll see it's modular. And if we go and edit this, we'll go to the next screen here. As far as the complications, the one in the middle is an app called Lumi. So that's actually a purchased app that I bought. And then the rest of them are just regular complications. Your calendar, your messages, and then music, compass, and then weather. So nothing really special there, but I have Lumi in the middle on the modular watch face. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper that I have on the iPhone, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>